Hi everyone, it's Don from Crux Terminatus. Hope everyone's well. This is the Forge World Avenger uh, build and paint tutorial along with the mistakes, which you'll we'll come to in a minute. Um, love this kit. I don't collect Imperial Guard, um, but just thought this was the bomb. It's a sex child of uh, an A10 tank buster and a German uh, Stuka from World War II. So, um, quite a, a, a dodgy build, a lot of green stuff going on there to fill the main gaps on the fuselage and as you can see I'm using two part epoxy resin to hold it together because it's quite a heavy lump of resin uh, and those wings are quite uh, fragile. So um, you'll see me gingerly go, da -da 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 -da. No, I'm only joking, I'm actually gingerly moving it about the place and trying hard not to. Uh, to break it. The canopy I had to mask um, on the inside and I also had to build a subframe out of plastic card because the uh, canopy and the fuselage just did not meet in any meaningful way so I had to sort of build a, a sort of skeleton up. Uh, this uh, uh, colour I found in a, a bargain bin at our model railway show. Uh, light uh, RLM light blue, uh, perfect for the underst underside of the so German Luftwaffe camouflage that I was originally going for. So I actually think that the colour looks really really strong. Um, and then I went for a flat tan and you'll see why I've done that in just a second. So because it's a, it's a Stuka looking aircraft I decided I wanted to paint it in that sort of Luftwaffe Africa core uh, type colour. Now I'll put a photograph up in a second for you but what I was going for was that sort of um, black dot on the sandy background uh, camouflage. So this is me just getting the canopy uh, set in place. I didn't want to glue it in obviously the, the pilot and everything isn't in yet but uh, just to get this uh, in position just a rough idea. Now this is the look I'm going for. It's um, that so it's got that sort of duck egg blue underneath the sand at the top and then sort of black spodgies. And um, yeah, this is kind of how it ended up. Yeah, you can see that, you know, I'm at this stage now where I'm thinking, oh, oh I've gone too far, um, but I, I can't back out now. I better just keep going all the way to the end. And then I went to the community and that's what they told me. So um, scrap that and on to this. So this will be the real uh, paint walkthrough because the other one was shocking. Uh, I used Vallejo model layer um, ivory there um, just to give it a sort of desert base and then I've gone for Game Air Terra uh, to give me some sort of really deep dark camouflage stripes. Um, I saw a photograph of a A10 Skyhawk which was a marine one known as an outlaw and uh, I thought well I'll try and copy that but realistically I kind of made a hash out of it. The, the camouflage would be okay but this colour is actually too dark so what I do is I go back over it with the, that sandy ivory colour um, and try and uh, bring it back down. And this is me just, just making sure that it's not too in your face. I think I did quite a good job of this because um, it, it looks quite uh, minnow. I don't know if you're familiar with that type of fish. It's a minnowflage um, type thing. I think it looks alright. What I decide to do is put a tiny little flex of green into it. So this is me just doing that just to, to give it a little bit more sort of camouflage um, look. So quite happy with that actually, I think it looks pretty strong. Um, obviously it's too clean but the, the weathering I know is going to take care of that. So at this point in time what I'm going to do is just to paint the engines um, because otherwise I'll just get painting camouflage uh, forever and a day. So I paint the engines black and then just go for uh, phantom looking engines there's a beautiful afterburning phantom so I paint them black and then I, I spray them with uh, fire red and then uh, rust orange on the inside to try and give that sort of low down dirty uh, close air support phantom-esque uh, afterburn so that's what they look like um, we could have put a little bit of white in the middle there afterwards I realised that but um, ah, it's okay it is what it is it's fine so moving on from the engines then uh, I go on and paint them um, uh, bolt gun over and then everyone should have a, a, a gift aid card for uh, your British Red Cross or your local Red Cross wherever you are in the world um, and I use that to uh, be a handy little mask for the mistake that I made earlier on just not, uh, not to get the colours too, too mixed up. I had a, a marking stripe for a squadron leader um, but as you can see I've decided that uh, that's 
at the advice of the community I decided to get rid of that so that's my little piece of plastic card. Then an oil wash so Windsor Newton um, oil there worst possible design for a, a receptacle for that idiot uh, and then if you've never seen a, a, an oil wash before it's magic black magic probably uh, I'm not entirely sure uh, but certainly I could never hope to paint these unless I was uh, using the capillary action um, of is that physics or chemistry well whatever science and on to laying out what I'm going to do with the um, the transfers, so I've got some from my Bane Blade kit there, Black 23 and the Imperial Aquila and you'll also see that I've got some stuff from a Eurofighter Typhoon kit that I've had knocking about for whew, uh, 10 years maybe um, some Squadron Markings, 3 Squadron RAF actually, uh, that's what that is but it's and a couple of extra bits like ejection triangles and stuff um, nuclear reactor um, stuff for the engine there, thought it was a nice touch um, so, yeah, gloss, uh, pin wash, transfers, or decals, depending on where you come from the world, and um, I've also done the canopies as well. And then a quick uh, blast of green onto the uh, pilot and gunner. I love the rear gunner, and um, as you can see, the, the cockpit isn't particularly um, see through, so I didn't go a great lot of detail, but I did paint a, cam uh, a cockpit uh, instrument panel and all the rest of it. But this is me doing the weathering now, so sponge technique for um, just a bit of mud, a bit of dirt, a bit of debris, and then uh, some metal as well for that same effect. And it's just trying to get the right amount is, is difficult, not too much, but enough to make it look dirty. And then, yeah, so bulk on metal on top of that. Sorry it went out of shot there for a second. And just uh, some enamel washes there to try and get some sort of fuel spill. Uh, and oil spills uh, again knowing when to quit is, a, is an easy thing to say and a hard thing to do just making sure the underside's done as well and then uh, we're getting towards the end so realistically a really really lovely uh, looking aircraft it's huge actually it maybe doesn't look like it when I'm working on it but it massive takes up a whole shelf in my display cabin uh, but I certainly love it I, I love the I love the look of it a sort of low down dirty um, close air support aircraft and, um, and this is just me trying to show you a 360 unfortunately my my spinner is only for sort of dreadnought sizes so it didn't really cope well very very well with this but a lovely kit lovely um, lovely looking thing as I say very very pleased with this and I'm much more pleased with the um, fact that it was a community that saved this build because really I was going down a, a dark path with that awful camouflage um, spoke to some, some people who I respect um, their work far more than my own and they said no try this try that try the other I did and look what happened um, as far as I'm concerned it's one of the, one of the better models I've painted again um, you know I see other people's models and think oh I wish I could do that but for the meantime um, this, is, uh, this is what I've managed to do this one so thanks very much for your support guys we're now up to 600 subs um, so going to go and do a giveaway uh, at some point in the new year just as soon as we can get something organized uh, but i hope you've enjoyed this one uh, it certainly was a, a lot of fun to paint and uh, i am loving the, the end results so thanks very much for sticking with us here's a last overhead shot uh, because someone said oh i'm glad you haven't painted a camouflage well i have <laughs> it just doesn't look like it that's the secret of great camouflage so thanks very much cheers bye bye <laughs>